looking forward to talking with more people today. I haven't seen in many, many years. It's been pretty amazing. The people, the people I run into today, they haven't seen in a long time. Um, I guess we can talk about some things later on. If you know where restrooms are, there's several throughout the building. You can find tours later on if you need to have a tour. Uh, the equipment outside, Jason, I think we'll have people working with that. The fire pole. The fire pole was a project actually by uh, Division II. Uh, collected about $12,000 towards that pole. Uh, Chief John Schull from Carpentersville was instrumental in getting the money together for that poll. So it was quite a project, and uh, we've had it for, I don't know, a year or so? Two years? A little over a year. A little over a year or so. Um, I'd like to introduce our chaplain, Pastor Aaron James, and he is from the First Congregational Church of Dundee for an invocation. Thank you, Chief. Welcome to all of you. Uh, we're here today to celebrate to say thank you to the men and women uh, who give their lives to this uh, ministry, to this way of life that makes our lives possible. And we're here to ask for God's blessing to be upon this time. In that spirit, will you pray with me, please? Holy One, creator of us all, we know you in different ways and call you by different names. We call your spirit among this time here, that you may be within us and among us. We ask your blessing on the men and women who give of their time and talent and energy to be a saving and powerful force for our good and our protection and our freedom. We ask your blessing upon this place of work that it may be a refuge of rest, a sanctuary of peace, a house for camaraderie, a home in which to make a brotherhood and sisterhood. And may it be a tool that they can use to do their work and do it well. All this we ask in the many names we call you. Please bless this time, this place. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Aaron. At this time, it's my honor to introduce the East Lindy Village President, Vallejo Miller, who will also be our Master of Ceremonies. Thanks, Steve. What a wonderful day. I can't tell you how happy and excited we are to see this fire station open. This has been something that the community has needed for a long time. Um, and it's an integral piece of more than just the fire station in East Dundee. Several years ago, uh, it became apparent that this was the location for a fire station. This is the geographical center of East Dundee. And it, it needed to happen. At the same time, the village has been wrestling with how do we get a new police station? How do we get some other infrastructure that we need? And this really, um, the work of the fire department board, the work of Chief Schmittendorf and the, uh, the village board in East Dundee really worked together very hard to try and figure out a solution for the entire community. And for those of you that aren't aware of what, uh, what this means, this fire station uh, freed up the old fire station building that's directly behind Village Hall, Village Hall um, on Barrington Avenue. And this is going to allow us to put in a brand new police station in the existing fire station. So over the course of a two year period, this brings the residents of East Dundee not only a brand new fire station, but a brand new police station and a renovated village hall. Um, this is something that you hear people talking about, it's, is this intergovernmental cooperation, but rarely do you see something like this actually happen. By doing it this way, we're actually able to save the taxpayers millions and millions of dollars. Um, it, it's a great day for us. I don't want to concentrate too much on that because this is the day for the fire station. 
But what a, what a wonderful thing. For the town of East Dundee, 3,000 people to be able to come up with a brand new fire station, a brand new police department, and a village hall. Um, just outstanding. Something that we've needed for decades, and we can pr finally deliver and give you the state-of-the-art protection, both fire and police, that you guys need at the lowest cost, which is always, always nice. Um, so again, uh, welcome. Welcome to East Dundee. Welcome to your new fire station. What a fantastic job everybody did getting this together. Uh, this, this took years and years and so many people's efforts to, to be able to deliver this in, in such fine fashion. And, and it's really, uh, it's a pleasure to see the fire department have a home that's, that's this nice. Um, I, I, for the people that have to work here every day, you are fortunate people and uh, I, I wish you nothing but the best. Um, I want to introduce a couple of people here that without their help this would not have been possible. From uh, the village of East Dundee, we have trustee Rob Gorman. Um, we have um, village administrator Bob Skirla. Bob, are you out there someplace? Okay, and there you are. He's a little short. You might have to jump up a little bit. Um, Deputy village administrator Heather Myrich. You here? There you are, Heather. And um, a couple other people that we want to uh, introduce at this time and thank for their, their help. Again, it would not have happened without them. From uh, F FGM, the architects, Jason Estes. Are you here, Jason? Jason. Uh, Reagan Porter. Here. There you are. Okay, good. Uh, Lamp construction, we've got Ian Lamp. Where's Ian? There you are. Ian Stahl, you can all see him. Um, Mike Farrell. Is Mike here? No? And uh, Chad Alexander. Okay. Um, what we're going to do now is um, introduce the uh, Board of Trustees for the East Dundee Fire Protection District. Uh, without their help, without their, without their drive, without their knowledge, this, this just could not have happened. And, and uh, you're fortunate to be represented by such a great board at this time. Uh, board President Mark Booth and uh, John Bonkowski and Lark Sanders. You guys, fantastic job. Serve your, serve your residents and your community well. And uh, we have nothing but the best to say for you. It is a pleasure working with you and the Village of East Dundee will continue this relationship. Um, at this point, um, I'm going to bring up our first guest speaker, former president of the International Association of Fire Chiefs, Chief Hank Clemenson. Chief? Thank you very much, Mayor. Um, welcome, and thank you for the opportunity to be here this morning. It is a, uh, it is a real honor uh, and a pleasure um, to welcome the East Dundee Fire Protection into their new building. Um, and I want to specifically thank uh, the board, uh, President Guth, Mark, and Bob. Thank you so much. Um, and Mayor, we were talking before that this couldn't have happened without the cooperation. So, uh, a new fire station is a uh, very special event. It's special for the neighborhood, the residents, the businesses it serves. It's so appropriate that this dedication is being held in conjunction with the uh, open house for East Dundee and Fire Prevention Week. In the fire service, we have gotten to a point that uh, the only time we have a ceremony, it seems, is when we lose a firefighter. Two weeks ago, I was in Colorado Springs for the IAFF Firefighter Memorial. Next weekend, I will be attending the National Fallen Firefighters Memorial in Emmitsburg. It is always and always will be a privilege to honor those who have given the ultimate sacrifice and to be with their families during such a sad time. But today is a special honor because the ceremony gives us that opportunity to honor those that risk their lives for us on a daily basis. Those that are among us today, right in front of us, um, and especially the hardworking of the, the firefighters and the board of trustees, the village of East Dundee elected officials, thank you that make this station a reality. And the most of all, thank you to you, the residents, who have agreed to uh, help pay for it. So 
this is a, a joint collaboration, not only between the fire board and, and the village, but also the residents and the businesses that we serve. The station will help provide a very positive work environment for our firefighters. I'm sure if uh, Google was in the fire rescue business, they would agree that providing our firefighters with a proper work environment is a good thing. As leaders in the fire service, we want our firefighters to have a good place to work and ensure that they keep that love for this great profession that we are in. The path for leadership is not an easy one. And in this room today, we have many leaders from many different fire departments, villages and townships, and surely understand the difficulties of being a good leader. We should also understand that as leaders, a leader can be enlightened with all the common purposes, but it's that cooperation that is crucial to providing that public service, as the mayor mentioned. This is about relationships, which makes relationship building and nurturing one a fire chief's most important function. Building and maintaining those relationships constitutes a process, not just simply a task or an event. And I think Steve Schmittendorf should be commended for all his hard work that he's done in building that relationship with the village of East Dundee. Although each of us have different roles and responsibilities within our communities, we all share some common goals and guidelines. That is, providing a higher level of service to our residents, providing a higher level of firefighter safety, and achieve the efficiencies and effectiveness whenever possible. That effective relationship with various local agencies is even more important in today's economic uh, climate. If we all work together, I'm true, I, am, I, I truly believe that we can survive these times and move forward. I'm proud to say that uh, during my time with the IFC, we are working hard at the national level and international level. And I challenge all of you to work hard at the local level. Over the past hour and the next couple hours, you'll witness some of the most positive impacts that a trusted relationship between the village of East Dundee and its elected officials and the East Dundee Fire Protection District can have at the local level. So I look forward to seeing uh, continued positive steps and I applaud all of you here today for your dedication and commitment to the East Dundee Fire Protection District. Thank you for being here today. I think it means a lot to everyone, especially on the board and the chief. And I ask that you all be safe. May God bless and protect our first responders and our troops who make this one of the greatest nations out there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Now I'd like to introduce the current past president of the Illinois Fire Chiefs Association, Chief Mike Felice. I don't know if I need to tip this down. Most of you are a little bit taller, so I stand here essentially in two uh, in two means, if you will. I'm an old Dundee boy. I served in this area on the West Dundee Fire Department. Grew up in the in the Carpentersville area, so I'm kind of in my roots here. And I also stand here, um, after serving the last couple years, the last year as the president of the Illinois Fire Chiefs Association, so I stand here representing nearly 1,500 chief officers across the state of Illinois, from Metropolis to Palatine to Bartlett to Elgin to East Dundee, and, and speak on behalf of them and thanking you for the job that you've done. There are so many examples of communities saying, well, we need to, we need to consolidate, we need to work together, and this is an example of how it's uh, truly been done. And to the elected officials in the village of Dundee and to the board here, um, just a tremendous, tremendous job. 
Uh, my words begin with a warm thank you for, for being invited to participate in something very special. Um, it's an honor to be able to be here, especially uh, because my, my roots were here. Uh, the fire service is usually pretty good about traditional recognition. You'll see it in, in banners and pictures and uh, things we wear on our uniforms. The fire service is usually pretty good about traditional things like that, and it's events like this, like this today that really need to drive that home. This should be memorialized and pictured and, and, and captured. Uh, this is an important event, not only for the, for the uh, East Dundee Fire Protection District, for the village of East Dundee, and for the neighboring communities as well. They made this day important and being recognized today and celebrated just as it should be. My, my compliments to all of you for that. A couple of uh, uh, personal feelings about a new fire station. It's never popular to put a new, a new fire station in a location. Somebody's always going to have some concerns about that. And it's equally as unpopular to pull a fire station out of an area. It's a very, very challenging, and there's always going to be the, the pessimistic side of what about this, what about that. I think you've handled that tremendously. Um, I had the opportunity over my career to, in the last 10 years to, to be involved with teams in the design and location and, and the building of four different fire stations in two different communities. And I understand the complexity of station location, office space design, living quarters layout, the functionality of the apparatus floor with these types of doors, for an example, and all the other critical components of a fire station. There are a thousand details and not one of them can be missed. Uh, there is, however, something I believe that's more important that, unders that underscores the physical component of this building. This building serves one purpose, in my opinion, and that's to help the personnel that serve here to serve the community. That's essentially what this building does. It simply helps the emergency response people here serve the residents of East Dundee and the neighboring communities. That's how I view it. I like for us to remember that we are public servants and we are here for one reason, and that's to serve the community. That's to, 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 to serve the public. The building simply helps us do that. Without the passion and the heart and the desire to serve our public, the building doesn't stand tall like it does today. The most modest of fire stations that I've seen, though, where compassionate firefighters serve is a firehouse that I'd be proud to work in. And I praise you because I think from the elected officials down to the newest firefighters that have been hired, I sense those qualities here. And I've seen that from neighboring communities in the East Dundee. You have the compassion and the heart and the desire to serve the, the, the residents of Dundee here. So what else can a fire station do in a community besides house emergency response vehicles and personnel? Is it only a, a, a house for firefighters to live in and for powerful vehicles and sophisticated equipment? I think not. I think it's also an occasional gathering spot for our community. I believe that firefighters and even some chiefs fail to see just how important this building is and what it stands for in a, in a community. This is a safe haven. Even Illinois uh, law identifies it as such. What does that say about community trust, about firefighters? There's not many buildings along Route 25 where little kids are going to go by when they go past that building down the street and go, woo, woo, woo. They'll do that for this building. This is a place where kids come, sometimes unannounced, to have birthday parties. This is a place where Eagle Scouts come for projects and look for role models and the firefighters that they meet. This is a place where some of our senior members in the community come to get their blood pressure checked. Not because it's close by, because they trust you as firefighters here. Remember that they do this because they feel more comfortable with us doing that. And this is the home where our community will call if they are scared, if they need help, or if they are in danger. And it is neat to be called upon to serve in those capacities. So to the people serving in this building, and I think my main messages are towards the people that serve in this building, do not underestimate how vital this building is and the service to the community truly is. Real brief, powerful example in my opinion, a little town up in Wisconsin close to Madison. The firefighters and EMTs and paramedics are a great public servants. It's a very, very small town. Like many other fire departments, they are struggling with finances and recruitment, similar to other jurisdictions, and they're being forced to weigh and consider the options, including dissolving that fire district, it's about a third the size of the East Dundee Fire District, and contract the provision of emergency services to the neighboring large city of Madison. But why has that not happened? It's not happened for one reason. Arguably, it would have made financial sense to have Madison protect this property, this, this small community, and they haven't done it because the fire district is considered an integral part of the community fabric. If, it, if they, they fear that if the, if the fire department's dissolved, that the community will dissolve right behind it. And that, 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 that small city of Shorewood would simply become a, a subdivision within the, the city of Madison. 
and maybe on a little bit of a different scale, the same thing holds true for all of our fire departments. We are part of the fabric of the communities that we serve. That is the impact that a fire station building such as this one here today can have on a community. The building here and people here are part of the fabric of East Dundee. I say the community here is fortunate to have these public servants. I know them personally. I also say for the personnel serving here, you are fortunate to have this community behind you and to have the opportunity to serve them. Do so with all of your heart and abilities, and I thank you very much for the invitation today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, next up, we have the station tones. East Dundee has been fortunate to have a lot of ribbon cuttings over the last year or so. Um, we've had a number of businesses move in. Um, this is something that I haven't been through before, but I understand that this is tradition for the fire department, so we're going to have the hose uncoupling ceremony. Um, if we could have the proper people up here for that. Mr. Skirla, would you step to the front, please? Trustee Gorman? Yep. Trustee Gorman? Anyone else in this? And uh, Heather? You want to take my spot? Take my spot, then. Uh, yeah, that's how the water's going. Yeah, that's right. Just file in behind. And that's like because the water pressure. All right. concludes our ceremony for this afternoon. Um, please hang around. There will be tours given of the building for those of you that haven't seen it, and there's food. So uh, welcome, enjoy, and uh, I just want to thank all the firefighters that are here for all their help and cooperation in making this happen as well, too. So thank you very much. <laughs>